Here's a video that will be helpful for anyone who's planning on installing a set of stairs like this with dadoed slots cut into the stringers to where the stairway might be too large to actually assemble on the ground. A lot of times when we used to build stairs like this, we would completely assemble the stairway and then set it into place and we were done. But that's not always going to be the case. I ran into a project I did that had 6 by 14, 24 foot long stringers and uh, it was difficult to do. So I kind of had to do something like this. So thought I would share it with you. Now for those of you who need a little more information, I do have a book available and you can go to the website and uh, click on the books tab to find it for dadoed stairs. And like I said, it was common for us to pre-assemble these and then lift them into place. But uh, if you're working alone, then you might need to assemble this one piece at a time. And you can get started by securely fastening either stair stringer, the right or the left, to the lower and upper sections of the building. After that, we can install our first tread. You can start at the top or the bottom. I am going to start at the bottom. And you will need a spacer block, something to position the tread here into place, keep it from falling down. And this block can, measurement for this block can be obtained by simply measuring from the bottom of the slot to the top of the floor. And then nail them or use screws, some type of fastener to fasten it into place. And I just kind of wanted to give you a cutaway idea. These are 16D nails. Everything is to scale here. And you can see that the nails are only going in a little bit. Now, could they be driven a little farther or at a different angle? Yes. Um, this might be something that you might need to actually test out, do a test run on some scrap blocks to uh, see. I've actually put these stairs together before where these nails were barely penetrating into the um, stringer because the slot was a little deeper than it uh, might have needed to be. So uh, just another thing to think about when you're assembling these types of stairs. Three nails or screws should be enough, but I will again leave that up to you. You want to put more or less in there or none at all. That will be up to you. Now here's an idea of how we measured the spacer block here simply from the bottom of the slot to the top of the floor. View of the next tread and its spacer block. Tread number three. Again, not too difficult here. We're just working our way up. Or if you start at the top, you'd be working your way down. Tread number four. Now I would like to point out that the support studs should be securely fastened to the treads to prevent them from falling down. You could use screws or building hardware. Just make sure you don't put it on the side that I have it on here. It should be on the other side. I just put this on to make a point. If you have it on this side and then you slide your stringer in, you're not going to, it's not going to be easy to get this stuff off. Not saying you won't be able to get it off, but it's going to be a lot easier if it's on the other side. So remember, these brackets, the screws, um, are going to prevent these studs from uh, falling down when you're adjusting everything or you kick one of them over and the tread falls down. Um, and, of course, the screws are going to allow you to remove everything easy. Wouldn't recommend using nails. Shims and wedges you could use to raise these. But again, if you're going to have to lower these, then you're going to have to pull these out cut a little bit off and then put them back on. And I just drew a support board down here. You know, I just kind of put something in here. You can build your own system. You know, you don't have to do what I'm doing here. You want to make something a little stronger and sturdier, go for it. After you have installed all of your treads, it should look something like this. Next up on the list will be to get the other stringer into place here. And I like to have a board attached to the top, something like this, to allow me to slide the stringer back and forth. Next step will be to slide it as close as we can to the 
treads something like this here now you will need to start at either the bottom or the top or should I say at least this has been the easiest method that I have found to use and I'm going to start at the top here and leave a little bit of a gap at the bottom and you can see here where some of these treads will be just barely into the stringer slots the others won't be but you're basically going to start at the top get the treads maybe three or four of them at a time and then push it over and if you do start at the top put some type of a block there to prevent this from coming apart. I can't tell you how many times I've started at the bo bottom um, and put these together and then I get to the other side, um, the top, and the bottom is popped out. So definitely going to have, this is not going to be an easy process. Uh, and I should say it could be if your slots are large enough. If you're cutting your, if you routed your slots to where they're going to be pretty tight, you could have a difficult time putting this thing together. And of course, on another note, uh, you could cut everything and all of your boards will be nice and square and everything slides right together and you are done with your project. So that is it for this video. If you um, need more information on how to build a set of stairs like this or other stairways, uh, make sure that you visit our video, click on the books tab and you should be able to find all of the stair building books that you need. And of course, if you don't, if you do have some type of a stairway that uh, you need help with, feel free to email us. We're always welcome. We always welcome video suggestions.